All right, guys. So unfortunately, I was not able to uh, to it in live for the special anniversary video this morning because honestly, I was just not feeling great. But I'm feeling a little bit better now. And uh, in today's video, we're gonna be going over all the details for the upcoming Saiyan Saga LR Kaioken and Goku, and also the LR Saiyan Saga Vegeta that transforms into Great Ape Vegeta. And uh, obviously a big, big shout out to the homie Goresh for his translations. And before we uh, take a look at their details, let's start by watching the animations for these units. So we'll start here with the, I guess, Goku first. And I have not seen them at all, so this will be my genuine reaction. All right, so I'm gonna throw on some headphones. And without further ado, Let's get it. Okay, that was that was pretty freaking sweet, guys. Um, first thing I noticed, honestly, was the OST. Um, it's freaking hype, man. So uh, probably one of my favorite the soundtracks in the game already. And then as far as the animations go, you can't expect much more for the Saiyan Saga Kaioken Goku animations. I mean, this is exactly what I would have wanted. They did not disappoint. Um... I love it, man. I love it. The active skill is great. The entrance animation is awesome. And I like the fact that he only plays the entrance animation when you're facing a Vegeta. So it's not like you're always seeing it. So it is a little bit more special compared to the uh, Dual Dokkan Fest LRs, right? Where like it's playing every single time. Um, yeah, amazing, amazing animations for this Goku. I expect nothing less for the Vegeta. So let's check him out now. Uh, right here. Here we go. Okay, enjoy, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Yo, I've always said that the um, Golden Frieza, Angel Golden Frieza transformation is my favorite transformation in the game. But it's not even close between that one and this great 8 Vegeta transformation, man. I mean, this guy now has easily, easily the best transformation in the entire game. Dude, that's... That was awesome. That was freaking awesome. The only thing I will mention is I was really hoping we would get a updated Gallic Gun animation, but I guess the LR Nappa and Vegeta came out recently enough where we don't really need an update yet because that one looks really good, right? Um, yo, by the way, <laughs> I was laughing my ass off at this KO screen, man. That's, um, that's pretty funny. You gotta admit, that's... That's a good KO screen. And uh, aside from that, uh, themes just like Goku sound really, really good. Um, everything looks mad fluid, kind of like the, you know, part one LR is just like really, really smooth animation. Um, I've been saying this, man, we need the Dokkan team to create their own like Dragon Ball series or like Dragon Ball movie because they would do an amazing job. Just like the way they animate these you know, attack animations and everything, like, it's just so good. It's so good. I would love a Dragon Ball show or movie just with this style of animation. It'd be perfect, you know? So, anyways, those are the animations. Um, I'm in love with both of them. I really am. Um, I really want both of these LRs right now, even though I don't actually know what they do yet. So, with that said, let's uh, pop over to... Rush's translations now. We're starting here with the Kaioken Goku. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit here so you guys can see more of the screen. There we go. Okay, so. Uh, oh, actually, we're starting with Vegeta, I guess. So this is the Goku. Uh, yeah, let's start with Vegeta. Let's start with Vegeta. Okay, so. Um, leader skill is Inhuman Deeds or Giant 8 Power Category K plus 4. HP, Attack, and Defense plus 150%. So, nothing crazy. Super attack, 12 key, raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage, 18 key, uh, mega colossal damage to all enemies, as you guys saw in the um, animations, right? It's an attack, all super attack. And then the passive is, uh, performs an entry animation only once and uh, gains key plus three and attack plus 60% for the rest of the battle if there's an enemy whose name includes Goku, Youth, Ginyu, Tutor, etc excluded so basically not only is he performing the entry animation when facing goku but he's also getting a pretty significant attack boost um, against goku enemies and then key plus three attack and defense plus 100 percent gains an additional attack and defense plus 60 percent when performing a super attack gains an additional defense plus 60 percent when performing an ultra super attack uh, guard activated against all attacks i love that I love that, and then gains an additional key plus 3, and attack plus 30% for the turn once guard is activated. Um, active skill is a giant ape transformation, able to be used when HP is 40% or below, and you transform into a giant ape. And as far as the giant ape transformation goes, it's just like your standard giant form transformation. You're going to be um, invincible while you're a great ape, but it only lasts for, I'm going to guess one turn, maybe two. And uh, for the super attacks, it's destructive damage for the 12 key. 18 key is uh, temporarily greatly raises attack and causes destructive damage. And the passive is uh, key plus 5. And as far as his links go, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Royal Lineage, over 9,000. Giant Transformation, Saiyan Roar, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And categories are Inhuman Deeds, Giant 8 Power, Pure Saiyans, uh, Dragon Ball Seekers, Vegeta's Family, Terrifying Conquerors. Space Traveling Warriors, Gifted Warriors, Planetary Destruction, Accelerated Battle, Faded Battle, Giant Form, or sorry, tra Giant Transformation, and Final Trump Card. Okay, so this Vegeta is going to be an insanely good tank because he guards all attacks. I've been saying this for a while. I wish there were more units that had guaranteed guard as opposed to you know, like, a high chance to guard, or even a great chance to guard, because you just never really know what to expect. Like, guard is so powerful, but if the unit doesn't get the guard, then you can be screwed, right? So, like, having a unit with guaranteed guard is so valuable, and uh, this guy has it. That's probably my favorite part of the, the kit right there. 
and he's going to be an insanely good tank. And based on the attack boost, especially when you're facing a Goku, he's going to be hitting super, super hard. You got the 60%, you got the 100%, you got the um, additional 30% when guard is activated. And uh, oh, also attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack. So he's getting a ton of attack. He's going to be hitting really, really hard. And his defense is going to be even better. So just a great unit man just a really really good lr um i guess you can say his kit is like a little bit boring it's not boring but it's like not really unique in any way but he is going to be amazing um i can tell you that so that is the vegeta i'm very impressed with the kit for sure let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it and uh, let's talk about the goku now so we have this Kaioken Goku who is STR, uh, Vegeta is tech by the way. So STR, LR, Kaioken Goku, 12 key super, raises attack and defense for one turn. Uh, oh sorry, uh, leader skill is all out struggle or final trump card, key plus four. HP attack and defense plus 150%, super attack, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And then 18 key super massively raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage while sustaining 4% of HP as damage so as expected of a Kaioken unit you are going to be hurting yourself with his 18k super but 4% is not it's not terrible um I still would have preferred you know less right like when it comes to super battle road extreme super battle road and other events like that you can't really afford to be losing HP so 4% can definitely hurt you quite a bit but it's not um as bad as it could have been I guess and then the passive is performs an entry animation once only, gains key plus 3, attack plus 70% for the rest of the battle. If there's an enemy whose name includes Vegeta, um, or, or if there is an enemy whose name includes Vegeta, Kid, Junior, etc. excluded, attack and defense plus 100%, gains key plus 7 for 7 turns from first appearance, gains an additional attack and defense plus 59% when performing a super attack, gains an additional attack plus 59% when performing an ultra super attack, randomly changes a type of key sphere other than SDR to SDR, and then high chance to perform a critical hit. Um, okay, so instead of it looks like guaranteed guard, uh, Vegeta is going or sorry, Goku is gonna be getting a high chance to crit, which in my opinion is not as good. But as you can tell, his kit is definitely more geared towards offense compared to Vegeta, who's more defensive. Even though Vegeta is gonna be hitting hard, his defense is gonna be extremely impressive. Whereas Goku is going to be hitting even harder, from what I can tell at least, based on my first impressions, but uh, his defense will not be nearly as impressive as uh, Vegeta's with the guard, so um, yeah, obviously two similar units, but also, you know, leaning towards opposite directions as far as offense for Goku versus defense for Vegeta, and then the active skill is a um, energy accumulated spirit bomb, can be used when HP is 59% or below, and it temporarily greatly raises attack and causes ultimate damage and stuns the enemy for one turn. And uh, the links are Kamehameha, Saiyan Lineage, Orbit of Flash, Z Fighters, Shocking Speed, Shadow of the Limit, and Legendary Power, and categories are All Out Struggle, Final Trump Card, uh, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Goku's Family, Turtle School, Bond of Friendship, Accelerated Battle, Faded Battle, and Kamehameha. So that is the Goku, also very good, but if I were to um, choose one right now to be like the better of the two, I would definitely go for Vegeta. I think Vegeta is just more impressive. I think defense is more important than offense to a certain degree, you know? And, um, you know, Vegeta's gonna have the offense, but his defense is gonna be very, very strong. Whereas Goku will be stronger on offense, but once again, I tend to uh, value defense more than offense. And uh, for Vegeta also, you're just going to be facing more Goku enemies compared to Vegeta enemies in the game. So it's going to be easier or you'll be able to get his full passive more often compared to the Goku. So yeah, they're both really good, but I think I'm siding or leaning towards Vegeta as the better unit of the two. I could be wrong, right? This is just an initial impression. This is just my opinion after seeing their kit for like the first time in this video. But uh, yeah, they're both very good. They're both very, very good. Of course, the animations are beautiful as well. 
and that is everything that you guys currently need to know about the LR Kakengoku and Crate 8 Vegeta. Uh, once again, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about them. What are your opinions? Do you think they're, you know, as good as you would have hoped for, or do you think there could have been something else that would have made them even better? You know, uh, whatever your opinion, let me know in the comments. I love both from the animation perspective to the soundtracks to the kits. There's really nothing I can complain about. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for this release, for these banners, and uh, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.